Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thanks for joining again. I'm going to be speaking with newly appointed Chief Medical Officer of HD Medical Incorporated, Dr. Sean Setti. He's joining us on the program to talk about their flagship product, HD Steth. It's an FDA cleared intelligent stethoscope. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Setti. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, congratulations on your uh, position there as Chief Medical Officer at HD Medical. I mean, give us a bit of your professional background and, and talk about being the Chief Medical Officer there at uh, HD. Sure. So I'm actually a uh, congenital heart surgeon, so pediatric and adult congenital um, cardiac surgeon. So uh, what, what I do is I operate on patients who have congenital malformations of their heart. And so that can be um, anything from a premature infant uh, all the way to an octogenarian. Um, so that's that's my profession. Um, and the reason why I got interested in HD death is because it really is a, a novel item that we have at our discretion to use to characterize some of the heart sounds that we hear. So ordinarily, we have a stethoscope, place it on a patient's chest. Uh, we can We can hear heart sounds. Part of some of those heart sounds may be abnormal heart sounds, such as something we call a murmur, and a murmur is just an abnormal heart sound. So if we hear a whoosh or something else, it it could portend to an issue with there being um, something as simple as a hole in the heart. It can be one of our valves are leaking, um, one of our valves are narrow, and so it gives us an idea of what's going on uh, with the patient. the great thing about the HD staff is it takes it not, I don't think just one step further, but I think multiple steps further. We can actually put the stethoscope on the patient's chest and not only can you hear the regular heart sounds that we normally hear, but you can hear everything else in and between. And it digitally kind of characterizes this so we can actually uh, study it a little bit further and get a lot more information about what's going on with a patient. So all of that simply through enhanced sound technology? Yeah, I think it's it's um, a lot more than sound. I, I think that, that's a big part of it. And the other part of the stethoscope is that just by placing the stethoscope actually on the chest, you actually get an ECG recording also. Mm. Uh, e- ECG is the uh, electrical conduction of the heart. And, you know, usually we'd have to have wires connected to us um, and hook it up to a machine. This This little stethoscope does all of that um, at one go. So, so there's a lot of information you can really get from that, especially um, being a specialist, there's a lot you can get from that. And so the reason why we got interested in this is just because of, of screening. You can screen large uh, proportions of the population. Um, for us, a lot of that's been done in developing countries where we've been able to actually target those those needed populations. And find patients who actually needed care and then got them that care free of cost. And so, you know, I, this is really a global uh, f- phenomenon. We can you know, look at it really as simply as screening patients, and then you can take it multiple steps further and actually characterize patients in the degree of their disease process. So there's, I think, you know, there's a lot we can do with this. You know, you said that there was a lot more to it than just enhanced sound technology. Um, When you were talking about getting hooked up to wires and and things of that nature, there's a printout that tells the technician, you know, what's going on. How is the information visualized uh, that you receive from the HD Steth? Yeah, that's a great question. So, yeah, normally we just hear it and we, we do the sounds and we, we do all of that. So that's only one of the senses that we're usually using when we're using a stethoscope, right? We're using our ears here. Um, it gets um, uploaded through into an app. So you can actually have a, you know, a phone or, uh, or an iPad sitting there and it actually uploads it all into that. Something we can save and store, mm-hmm. um, something we can study. You can go back and study it from, you know, patient visit to visit. So there's, uh, there's a lot you can do, but yes, it, it is not only um, auditory, but also visual. Does the patient have access to that app as well, or is this solely for physician use? No, that, that, that app um, goes with the device. So, um, you know, people, people have access to that. Obviously, you know, the interpretation of that, you have to be a little bit careful because mm-hmm. obviously you need a specialist to interpret it, but, but, but that app is present. Now, I understand you also have uh, another product, uh, Healthy You. 
Talk a little bit about that device. Is it um, approved as uh, HD Steth uh, has been approved, or are we waiting approval on that one? Um, we're 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 waiting um, for um, approval on that. There's going to be several different forms, so we're hoping um, a little bit later this year this will be out. But this is this is actually um, a device which is pretty remarkable. Um, it's it's a device that's portable, handheld. You can put it on yourself, and not only can you just get a single lead e- EKG, but you can actually get seven leads. So a normal EKG that you get, you know, from day to day has twelve leads. This has seven seven leads just by pu- putting this on on your chest, and it's pretty amazing. You know, without the wires, without all those sticky tabs that you put on there, um, you can just get this by putting it on the patient's chest. But it also gives you a lot of other things. It, it can give you the heart sounds, the lung sounds your oxygen saturation, your, your blood pressure and, and the trends and um, heart rate. And it's pretty amazing that the whole device does all of that. And it too can be um, hooked up to an app where, where all of this can be uploaded and downloaded. You know, obviously you're getting much more information than you normally would with just your standard equipment, your regular stethoscope and your EKG and whatnot. What other challenges does this device tackle? Um, I know there are, there are several that obviously it does away with, but what other challenges or situations kind of um, disappear because of this device? Well, I think I think as healthcare advances, it used to be that we would go see our doctor, you know, every three months, every six months, whatever, and then you kind of get what the doctor tells you, and then you go on your way, and then you know you show up months later. Here, I think you really have uh, multiple benefits. I think one of the ones is, is, is the person, the patient, you know, me, you, we can actually look at this every day. We could trend, we can trend things. We can see is our, you know, how's our blood pressure, how's our oxygen saturation. It all depends on what your underlying comorbidities are. So not only can you kind of tackle and keep on top of your health, um, but you can also it can also be used as a mechanism to give information back to your healthcare provider. Mm-hmm. So if if you wanted if they, we need a close um, observation of of certain cardiac or pulmonary pulmonary issues, you know this can be trended to the doctor. So the doctor can actually look at this. They can look at the EKG. They can look at the blood pressure. They can look at the SAT monitor, and know exactly what's hap- happening with you on a day to day basis. And you too can take a little bit of control of your own health. So you have a closer eye on that because because we all know that you know it's it's a daily process taking care of ourselves is a daily process especially when we have either comorbidities or we're getting on in years so it actually gives a lot of the focus back to the patient and if you think about it the recent pandemic um, has taught us a lot of things about healthcare and the whole telemedicine and video conferencing thing which really wasn't used a lot was had to be used. There's no choice. And I think what we found is that physicians, I can tell you that most of the physicians I've spoken to have really, really taken to it because there's a lot of things you can do. But one of the drawbacks of it is you don't actually get these vital signs. You don't actually get to listen to your patients. So, you know, with a combination of, you know, HD staff and healthy you, you can actually do all of those things. And, and it makes it, it makes it really nice for both patient and healthcare provider. Give us a website where our listeners can learn more about HD Medical and the technology that you're working on there, and maybe even get a, a glimpse of the next big thing that you've got going on there at HD Medical. Yeah, HD Medical has its own uh, website, so you can just look it up, hdmedicalgroup.com. Um, it can also be Googled under that name. Well, I appreciate you joining us here, Dr. Seti. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Hopefully we'll uh, speak again and and get some more information about your company and about the uh, technology that you're developing there. Okay, thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Sean Seti. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube dot com health professional radio